So you say your goal is to have a world that's glasses and contacts free, that you actually think that's a reality. Do you think that's a reality like in our lifetime? Uh, I think we're really close. Like sort of the dream that motivates me as a surgeon is for me to be kind of walking through a museum with my grandchild someday and, and he pulls on my shirt and says, what's that? And it's, it's a display case with eyeglasses and contact lenses in it. <laughs> and he has no idea what it is. Wow. You know, that, that's, that's sort of my dream. And I, I think it's amazingly close to reality. So we've solved almost every problem with glasses and contacts, except we don't yet have a perfect solution for the loss of reading vision that comes with age. You know, mm. where grandma and grandpa pull out their reading glasses. In fact, it's not just grandma and grandpa, it's anybody over 45 generally needs reading glasses. And it's frustrating, you know, you, you see people holding things way out in front of them, trying to read it. And um, we haven't got a great solution for that. Usually we solve that by doing one eye more for distance vision, one eye more for reading vision. So the eyes kind of work together and let you read. That's that what doesn't I got. work for everyone. Yeah, exactly. So that's it's what perfect. I got. It, they call it mono vision, right? Exactly. And it's perfect yeah. for somebody like you who's an on-air performer. You don't, I mean, you don't want to be grabbing, you know, granny glasses and putting them on in order to read something. It doesn't work. It's, it's too so. much of a hassle. Well, it's funny because yeah, my exactly. up-close reading was doing okay, but I know it's going to go in the wrong direction. Um, and my long-distance vision was always the problem. So I put people out there who wear contacts, you'll understand this. I was wearing a minus three in each eye, minus 3.0. And... Um, I tried doing a minus three and a minus two. You figure out which one is your dominant eye. Your doctor does that with you. And your dominant eye, they correct for the long distance. So that stayed minus three. And then the weaker eye, I guess non-dominant, they'll, they'll undercorrect that in the LASIK. So that's going to be your reading eye. And so I tried minus three and minus two, minus three and minus 2.25, minus three and 2.225 and so on. And I wound up settling on minus 275 and minus three. And I wore those contacts for months to see if I could read. Could I, and, and I love it. I, I was like, this one I can do. Yeah. And so kudos to, you know, kudos to your doctor, because that's what the kind of the LASIK mills don't do is you need a doctor in a system that'll sit down with you and really figure out how your vision should be corrected and, and what's the right procedure for you. You know, LASIK's not for everyone. I mean, it's fantastic for people who are minus three, but not for people who are minus 12. Mm. And so, you know, you need a, a center that'll figure out what's right for you. For, mm -hmm. for the really near side of people, we do something called the implantable contact lens. Yeah, what's and, that? Um, oh, it's fantastic. It's a tiny little clear. It looks like your, your old soft contact lenses, but about half the size. We roll it up in a little tube and insert it into the eye. It unrolls, but it just stays there correcting vision permanently. What? And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's Doesn't really Doesn't that neat. cause dry, to terrible dry eye? Then, yeah, no dry eyes. Yeah. That's a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. It's really neat. And uh, the next generation of this was just FDA approved this week, actually. Wow. And so it's, that's growing in popularity. That's um, for the people who, who have very like minus 12, you're saying. Well, actually, I, is it, it's that great for people with a lot less than minus 12. Like oh. we're using it sometimes as low as minus four. It just oh, depends wow. on the individual. And, but okay. my message is you want a center that'll figure out what's the right thing for you because um, there's all saying that if every, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, mm -hmm. right? So you want a center that does a variety of procedures, got expertise in those. It'll sit down with you and, and spend time to figure out what's right for you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.